Where we are right now is we're sitting here looking at a human problem and a junk problem and trying to find the best solution. Do you believe that the benefit to society from taking care of these people outweigh the inconvenience to their neighbors. I've taken NIMBY, not in my backyard, to be a badge of honor. And so if it's in my backyard and I think it's not right, I'm gonna say so. What could be worse than saying I have nowhere to go but to live outdoors? A lot of people die down there that are unaccounted for, unaccountable. When Sunny Acres was formed right off the bat, I didn't want to be using taxpayers' dollars. When it comes to the homeless, they spend a bunch of money on these studies, then they start to pay high salaries to take care of people. But when they get done with the high salaries and everything, there's nothing left. So you need to go into the creek, and you need to take the people out that have any spark. It's just like a cart. Same way with people. You gotta find that hidden spark or something to work with. And if you can vitalize that spark, you can bring them way back up the ladder. The take the, you don't let a guy go hungry. If you're gonna bring him in and offer him food, you offer him safe food. They're homeless today. They're mentally ill today. They're sick without medication today. Where were these people living before? They were living in bushes. They were living by the creek in makeshift tents made out of garbage bags. When you put someone in a very dangerous fire trap and take money from them, it starts to sound like exploitation. When I found out that he had gone to jail, I was outraged. I couldn't believe it. I convicted someone who shouldn't have been convicted. They've prosecuted somebody that does what nobody else wants to do is a disgrace. That they would cut off the electricity at our road, shut down our program, and once again send our residents back to the streets. I want Sunny Acres to be successful but it won't be successful until it's a safe place. This building is no more susceptible to fire than any other wood frame residential construction. The main reason for my speaking today is to reassure everyone that this is doable. And I would have nowhere else to go. It is Sunny Acres, the only place for me to live. We have bent over backwards to accommodate the people at Sunny Acres to preserve his property rights. What are they fighting for? because we're fighting to live and survive and be happy. That's pretty simple. It's pretty much what anybody wants.